Thanks for checking out the Mike Rochester YouTube channel. In this video, we're taking a look at the Rattan Porcus. This is a step through utility e-bike. It's going to be a long range bike and it's gonna be fast. So we're gonna unbox it and assemble it in this video. We'll show you what's all in the box and how it gets put together. We'll do a test ride and review in a future video. If you're interested in this e-bike, there'll be links in the description for you to purchase your own. Let's not waste any more time. Let's get to it. Pop that baby open. Get rid of them staples. Here. There's a first look inside. Look at that green and that rack. Let's cut that box. Real careful when you're doing this. Well, that's a sharp color right there. Let's get this baby unpacked. Pop off some of these straps. There's our seat. That's a wide seat. Nice memory foam. BMX style handlebars. Those are nice. Hydraulic disc brakes, that's nice to see. Yeah. Wow. There's our fender. Look at that tire and rim. I really like the way that back rack is just built right into the back of this bike. Everything that came in our accessories box was our charger with cord, our uh, owner's manual, pedals left and right, a couple wrenches, four Allen wrenches, our display with rubber spacers for the handlebars, and our nice bold headlight. That looks like our axle for the front tire. Here's everything that came in the box. Let's go ahead and get our handlebar set up first. Turn the stem the correct direction, which it's going to face forward just like it is. Go ahead and take these four screws out. So it's always a good idea to have something handy to throw your screws in just so you don't lose them. We're gonna go ahead and pick up our handlebars. You're gonna want this wire to be in front of your handlebars, not behind them. Anytime you're tightening down a stem, you wanna go from like top left to bottom right, top right to bottom left. And this is just so you don't tighten them down unevenly. And then we're gonna to wanna to center up the little groove in there. We wanna make sure that that is going to be right in the center. Tightening these all down. Fine tune everything afterwards. We just wanna make it snug so that we can keep moving. Come up here with our handlebars like that. And man, these BMX handlebars are sweet. Okay. Keep in mind the stem is still kind of loose and moving freely. We'll go ahead and tighten down both sides slightly just so they don't move around on us while we're working here. So this was attached just for shipping purposes to keep the fork square during shipping. We'll go ahead and get rid of that. Keep in mind these are hydraulic disc brakes and there's a spacer in between the brake pads on the front caliper. So just be very cautious that, that you don't press down on the front brakes once that spacer is removed. Because we don't want those pistons to come in and touch. Uh, we'll have some front brake problems if that happened. So what we're gonna do is pre-assemble the front tire. So we're gonna take our axle and stick it directly into the center of the tire. Each side of the tire is going to get a washer and both sides are the same. So put a washer on both sides of our tire here. Then we have two spacers and they're different widths. So I'm going to take the narrower spacer and put it on the side with the rotor and the wider spacer and put it on the opposite side. Then I'll put the additional washer and the nut on the outside. Let's assemble the seat so that we can flip the bike over and the bike has something to rest on 
It's a little bit easier when you're working alone to put the front tire on. Let's go ahead and flip the bike over. Now that we have the bike upside down, we want to get the rotor right between those brake pads there. And uh, we have a spacer and a washer on each side. So let's go ahead and drop it right in there. And you can tell it's just going to kind of fall right into place. Perfect. That's all we wanted to do. I don't even think those brakes are going to scrape. And now we can go ahead and put our nuts on the end. Once we get the nuts on the end, we want to tighten it down so it's nice and tight. Always double check all of your nuts, bolts, and screws. It's your safety and you want to make sure that you're riding safe. The other side's turning. So let me go ahead and get another wrench. Hold this side down. While we screw this side down. And then we'll do the same on this side. Go ahead and make that nice and snug. Let's go ahead and put the bike right side up. Install the front fender and the light. They're both going to use the same screw right here. We'll bring our fender around the back side here. Come up through the bottom. Okay, the way we're going to assemble this is we're going to put our light on and we're going to put our fender in front of the light so that we can move the fender up and down. So we're going to go ahead and put our fender on, then our light, and we're going to feed it directly through and tighten it down with our Allen wrench and hold the nut on the back so it doesn't move. Don't worry if it flops around a little bit, just so you can get into position. Then you can adjust everything a little bit tighter after. So we're gonna go ahead and loosen this up, slide our fender up, and then tighten it down. Let's go ahead and put our fender arms on next. You can do it with the supplied Allen wrench, but it's a little easier with a longer one. We'll do the same on the other side. If you loosen up this screw here it makes it so the light can go up and down and we'll go ahead afterwards and tighten that down in the position we want i just want to be able to get it out of our way for now so that we can complete tightening this down that's going to be perfect tighten it down run our wire through the back here and uh we can go ahead and tighten the side up here. We want it tight, but we want to be able to move it. So if we want to be able to move it up and down, we don't want to tighten it too much. So that's perfect. I like the way that's sitting. And if we're out riding, we can turn it down or up and make fine adjustments while we're riding. <laughs> Look at that baby. All right, let's go ahead and assemble the pedals. I'm always going to say it. There's a left and a right pedal. They're going to be labeled on the crank arm and they're also going to be labeled on the pedal. As simple as it sounds, you don't want to put the wrong pedal on the wrong side. And uh, it even shows you the direction to turn the pedal on. Go ahead and tighten that pedal down. Get it nice and snug. We'll go ahead and do the other side. Can't get easier than that. It nice and snug. Now we'll put our display on. So it looks like our display, we're gonna have um, a couple of screws here and a couple of washers to put up on the handlebars first. And then we're gonna have our control that we're gonna put up here on the handlebars as well. These are gonna go on the handlebars like this. We'll take our control panel Drop our first screw in here. Just 
just want to catch it and get it started. Take our small supplied Allen wrench. Just going to go ahead and catch it and get it screwed in the best we can. Get this side started as well and tighten it down. Both sides. So we don't want to tighten it down too much because we want to slide everything into place. Okay. Go ahead and unscrew this. I'm going to run it right through the back here and come back this way. And then we're going to set it up just like this. Let's not forget to hook up your display, which is green to green, and our front light, which is gonna be red to red, just like that. And that's gonna wrap this one up for the assembly of the Rattan Corcus. And guess what? We're gonna have a blast with this bike. Stay tuned for our review. And uh, make sure you go through and check every nut, bolt, and screw. Even if it wasn't part of the assembly today, you wanna make sure that you're riding safe. So like always, thanks for watching. Ride safe. See ya.